Swarms of termites have literally taken over the area. This ominous looking video was captured last night here along the Gulf Coast. It's like a movie scene. Invasion of the termites. What can we do to keep them from taking over? A question NBC 15's Darwin Singleton went in search of an answer for. Darwin, it's just that time of year. It is, Kim. Every spring, usually a couple of weeks before and after Mother's Day, we start getting calls about those huge clouds of bugs that you see around porch and street lights. Well, those are termites, and yes, they are looking for a place to call home. At first glance, it looks like something out of an old 1950s science fiction movie. Swarming termites are the kings and queens looking to start a new colony. And the plot that's about to unfold sounds like the script. Every year, the colony will re release its swarmers, and the swarmers will actually go find new homes. Yes, you could call it the invasion of the home snackers. Thousands of insects in a frenzy to land, settle in, and commence snacking on your house, your garage, your she shed, whatever's made of wood. Brandon Red knows this because his family has been in the termite protection business along the Gulf Coast for 70 years now. If you should see this movie playing out in your neighborhood, he has some advice. They like to swarm to the lights. So if you have your lights on at home, inside, outside, and you see them around there, that's when you want to dim your lights. We always recommend to our customers and even homeowners that keep your lights dim from 8 to 10, and you should be good on swarmers. By then, he says, most of the bugs have dropped their wings and are crawling around looking for a place to procreate. But what are they looking for? Brandon says two things are essential, wood and moisture. The best way to protect your home against termites is to number one, have termite protection, but also limit the moisture that's mm -hmm. around your home. Any type of moisture, whether that's maybe a leak in the gutter, a leak in the roof, or even maybe some siding that's touching the ground are all conducive conditions for termites. Yikes, a house of horrors. There may be times when you see some dead termites in and around your home. Should you be concerned? Yes, if you keep seeing that several days in a row. And that is when you might want to call in a professional to take a look and maybe even consider a treatment plan for your home. Just know there will be another showing of this horror flick every spring, Kim.